Good morning, Randolph Clay family, especially those who are in band and in music appreciation at Randolph Clay High School. Today we are going to be looking at our notes and rest worksheet. So what we're basically going to be doing is finding spaces where we need to put rest in. And then we've got to figure out which rest goes into which space. Further on down, we'll start putting in bar lines. And past that, we'll fill in where we need to put rest again. And then we'll do that also with a grand staff at the bottom. So if we look at our first measure here, we're in 4-4. Four, four. So that means we're going to have four beats in every measure. And we can see here we have one, two, three beats. We need something to fill in this space. If we have three beats but we need four, we need a rest that is worth one beat. So we're going to put a quarter rest into this measure. The next measure we have one, two beats. So now we've got two beats that are unaccounted for. So we look up here and we find a rest that's worth two beats, a half rest. So we'll go over to our staff and we will simply put a small rectangle on top of the third line. Now, looking at this third measure here, we have nothing in here. So we have four beats that are unaccounted for. So we look up here, a whole rest is worth four beats. So we're going to put that hanging down from the fourth line. And then, of course, here, it's just like measure one. We're missing one beat, so we put a rest down. I'll let you guys do section B. It's done the same way as section A. Now looking at two, this song is missing bar lines. Fill in the missing bar lines. So every time we hit beat four, we should put a bar line. So we have one, two, three. A quarter rest is worth one beat, four. So now we put our ledger line. Taking a look here, we have one, two, three, and a quarter rest is four. So we put that right here. Now the next measure is a little trickier. We have one, and then we have a half note. So two, three are part of this half note. Then we have four. So we put our bar line after that. Looking at Number three, it's the same thing as we had at the top. We're looking for spots to put in a rest. Measure one doesn't need a rest. Measure two, we can put a rest here or here. We just need to add one beat of rest. Now, when we're dealing with the grand staff, this can be a little tricky because we have two measures together. But each one of them has to have their own set of four counts here. So we have no counts in this measure right here. So that means that we're going to go up here and we're going to use our whole rest to fill this in. Just like that, we've got a whole rest. Now here, this measure, we only have two beats in this measure. That means we're missing two beats. So what we want to do there is add two quarter rests. They're worth one beat, two beat. We have two beats there. And on this one, we're missing, a, we're missing a beat here, we're missing a beat here, so we're going to put a rest here. We're going to put a rest here. In this measure right here, we have one, two, three. We're missing our fourth, so we'll put that right there. This one's a little trickier because we're missing three beats, so we'll put a half rest for two beats and a quarter rest for three beats. And I'll let you guys figure out the rest of those measures as they go along. I will give you a hint that this measure and this measure will be marked the same. All right, please let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Uh, check in on the Google Classroom every day. And remember that I'm on Google Meet every day from 2 to 2.30. Be safe, be well, we'll see you tomorrow.